me. God. Oh. That's not spooky. It's just the fall season, which is about as equally as scary. Hello and welcome back to another fall season, everybody. It's 2017, it's been like three months since you've seen my face, I lost a fuck ton of weight, and yeah, we're coming back to this shit again. Opening joke aside, I'm not gonna be covering Umaru and maybe a couple of other things. I, I might miss something, who knows? Don't worry about it, you're just here for the laughs and the funsies anyway. So, without further ado, what is this cute girls doing cute things bullshit? Basically, this show is fashion. Turn to the left, fashion. Oh, and now they're magical girls. Literally, what the fuck? Damn, I wanna watch whatever show she's watching. They summoned the Gundam? Better change into my Maho Shoujo outfit where I'm also an idol and sing them to their destruction. Nihon Sugoi Desuka. Nazis. Nazis everywhere. Thousands of them. The Nazis are the heroes, I think. And then apparently from the ED, this show is actually taking place in modern time. Like, I like complex plots, but what is this Third Reich fever dream bullshit? Welcome to prison. School. School prison. It's not that one, it's actually not the same. It's more of some like Shawshank is the new black shit. What is this pseudo etchy slice of life bullshit? So begins the everlasting tale of the reluctant virgin. So magic exists and this kid's an orphan and this lady's his mom and apparently they're from another show that I wasn't aware of but now I slightly remember from watching when I was younger. And this guy gives some young boys some magic lollipops so he can trap the lady who's actually a vampire and so is this kid now and oh look, you see that over there? If you look closely in the background, you can see my interest in this convoluted bullshit. There it goes. It's gone. Goodbye. This one just doesn't make sense. And of course, it's, a, it's because it's a video game adaptation based on the Sengoku period. Because as everybody knows, history is fun. The Zodiac animals are all very well animated assassins and they're trying to kill each other. Yay! The monkey goes, let's all get along. The pig goes, I'll do what needs to be done to win this death game. The rabbit goes, fuck you, I'ma eat your eyeballs. What is this archetypal moe blob bullshit? Hey, if anything, this one's actually pretty neat. It shows the stereotypical anime girl types in an interesting way, I guess. Also, trying to claim any one character is best girl over any of the other ones is gonna be like walking into a minefield. There's just, there's too many, too, too much ground to cover here. So here's the pitch. It's like Hunger Games mixed with Saw and with cell phones. And Euphoria. And uh, if you know what that uh, last thing I said was, well, uh, you're just a, you're, you're a very special person with a giant red dot over your head on the sexual offender list. Oh, that's right. This is a sequel to Yuki Yuna. I, I, I never, I never finished Yuki Yuna. Sidecar racing, the world's most safe extreme sport, which when you think about it kind of moots the point that it's extreme actually, but who cares? As, as an old person, this, this show gets me. Like this, this show fundamentally understands me as a human being. <laughs> Like, on, on a spiritual level, it understands me greatly. What is this bootleg Steven Universe bullshit? We are legally distinct from the Crystal Gems. Steven, you okay there, buddy? You look a little, uh, you look a little not you. Wow. The widescreen release of Maiden Abyss looks really good. In all seriousness, this show actually seems pretty interesting. Probably gonna wait for this one to finish before I watch it. I feel like it's gonna be one of those kind of shows. Nah, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Is this Ruby? No, wait, no. I know what Ruby looks like. This? This right here? This is Kamen Rider. This is some interdimensional Kamen Rider shit in 3D. Honestly, sign me the fuck up. It may look bad, but there's something about it that I kind of dig, which is probably Kamen Rider because Kamen Rider is rad. Do you remember Garo? You should, it's pretty good. It's, it's from like two or three seasons ago. It's just dudes in magic suits of armor killing demons and shit. And what basically happened in this production was they said, okay, right, let's look at this. Let's do this again. And in the future this time and with motorcycles. Like you can't, there's, there's, there's nothing you can say no to in that sentence. Holy shit.
that this is the cutest shit I have ever seen. I'm I'm gonna need some beta blockers because th my heart can't take this shit anymore. Finally, Kekai Sensen is back with a bitchin' soundtrack, crazy art and animation, and that same feeling of urban chaos that I missed so much from the first season. Only thing I have to complain about is, well, most people are complaining about the ED and that they don't have the same ED as before, or at least the same band. They put it in the front. But my thing is, I, it's missing Bump of Chicken. I really need some more Bump of Chicken in my life. You know, funny enough, I was actually looking for forward to this one, and I mean, everyone's excited. Crunchyroll's constantly on Twitter being like, hey, have you seen Black Clover? You should watch Black Clover. Black Clover's anime of the season. It's gonna save us all. And even the main character sounds really excited to be there. Like, a little too excited. Like, shut the fuck up. Why, why is nobody talking about this show? Like, seriously, this shit is top-notch, high fantasy, superb concept, post-apocalyptic, hidden agenda, tale of adventure shit. Why is nobody talking about this? Oh, say no more. Say no more. It's, 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 it's just perfect. I don't even care anymore. It's perfect. This is perfect. This is the perfect anime. Newt out of 10, fuck Cowboy Bebop. This show, perfect. I love it. It's a masterpiece. <laughs>